Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Recess, Moment in History, and I'm here at the original U.S. Federal Building, Post Office and Courthouse in downtown Port Huron. Now, in 1872, Congress authorized the funds to build a building that would house the U.S. Customs Service and federal agencies. Designed by U.S. Treasury architect Alfred B. Mullet, the federal building took five years to complete and reached a cost of $200,000. With Port Huron serving as the largest immigration point, second only to Ellis Island, the need for a large customs building was clear, though the amount spent was second-guessed by Congress as overruns piled up during the last year of completion. No detail was missed on this Renaissance revival, Greek revival influenced building. In fact, the U.S. Federal Building even had a fountain featuring bathing nude nymphs. The fountain raised many eyebrows from ladies in Port Huron, so in 1880, a large cover was placed over the fountain, which would remain in place until 1916, when the original fountain was replaced by a war memorial honoring Port Huron's fallen heroes. In 1959 through 1960, the post office vacated the building, and at a cost of $250,000, the first floor was renovated, the house of the Social Security Administration. The building was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. Federal courts continue to occupy the building's second floor, in addition to the Department of Homeland Security and Border Protection maintains offices in this building. For Moment in History Extra, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you all that history lives in all of us.